pay-per-view in the new house. New house, who dis? We are grim. These are the Ninja Twins, Rod and Todd. The whole room there that we don't even need. The whole room we don't even need. And a tax slug is on his way over. And grime is lurking around the house somewhere. But we just witnessed the pre-show of TLC. Because we're doing TLC 2018 reactions. And Elias went up against Bobby Trashley. In a guitar ladder match. The first one to capture the guitar wins the match and gets to use it. And these guys went all out. They were brutal, throwing each other into the ladders. And in the end, a liar wins. He got the guitar. A liar? A liar? A liar. Who wants to walk with a liar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but guess, guess, guess what happened? But then, then Trashley gets the guitar and whacks him with it anyway. Boo, Trashley. We hate you. Stop bending over and showing your butt to everybody, you boob. <laughs> We hate him, don't we, <laughs> fellas? His pose. Yeah. <laughs> sickening, sickening. And also, the cruiserweight title was on the line as my buddy Murphy. Right? That's what we call him. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy Murphy. My buddy Murphy, he kicked out of Cedric the Entertainer's lumbar check. Cedric Alexander, we thought he had it in the bag. We thought we had a new cruiserweight champ, but uh uh. uh, -uh. How the hell did this happen? I don't know. But Buddy Murphy, my Buddy Murphy, retained that cruiserweight title. And now it's on. I thought he was my buddy. He's my buddy. buddy. He's my buddy. He's my buddy, Murphy. He's our uh, buddy. He could be all our buddies. Yeah, okay. All right, wait a minute. So they just had this mix match challenge with, with Chlamydia and our lies. Mm -hmm. and, and versus Jingle My Balls and Alicia. <laughs> but... But, 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 but Carmella just wrapped up Alicia's head in like her butt cheeks or something and made her tap. The code of silence, she's just tapped out to it. But that means that our truth and Carmella are number 30 in their respective Royal Rumbles this year. Yeah. They just ruined the Royal Rumble for me, man. I don't want to see our truth as number 30. People are pissed. Number 30 is supposed to be a big, big, game, exciting uh, something. Return, returning someone. Hey, thank God this mix match challenge nonsense is over. Thank God. Like, we need more wrestling yeah. on top of three hours of Raw, two hours of SmackDown. So that's it. The bar has just defeated the Screw Day and the Usos to retain. We are the bar. Grind, go back downstairs. Cena's not even on the pay per view, too stupid. I can't stand him. That was a hell of a match. It, it should have been a TLC it match. Been a TLC match. I don't understand why there's only two people in the ring at a time. Yeah, and if it's, it's a triple, triple threat, match. all three should have been in the... But it was still epic action. I mean, I got to see a Cesaro swing, which makes me super happy. <laughs> <laughs> they nailed that times two. What did you think, Slug? It was all right. It was all right? Sometime in now, we're going to find out. GM or not GM? I don't know. <laughs> did you see who the ref is? He's later. I called him last week. Heath Slater. <laughs> yeah, because Heath Slater's going to turn heel, whatever. But the bar retains the title, and I think I'm doing good in the predictions. If I lose the predictions, I have to give up the warehouse. Did you hear about this? The whole warehouse? The whole warehouse. That is a big bet. That's a big bet. Are you going to give it up? Yeah, who is it? I have to just... No more, no more warehouse, yeah. Back to the backyard. You have a bigger backyard now. Yeah, but I can't do it in this neighborhood. Well, yeah. <laughs> what? What do you get if you win the predictions? I can't say. <laughs> oh, I don't get it. Okay, so we were all wondering if 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 Braun Strowman was even going to be able to fight Baron Foreskin in a TLC match, and uh, Braun came out with his chicken wing all slinged up, and uh, we're like, is he actually going to have the match? Uh, yes and no. Instead, mostly no. Mostly no. <laughs> instead, they had a bunch of guys from Raw come out. You know, people that foreskin burned, kick his ass, and hit him with a bunch of chairs. Ow, ow, ow. What? Don't use foreskin, foreskin burn? burn in the same <laughs> sentence. And then Corbin's like, "The hell with this, I'm out of here." And he's trying to leave, but then old drunk Uncle Kurt Angle comes out and chases Foreskin down the aisle, hitting him with the chair and almost hitting him in the head. Because Angle's like, "Back in my day, we whack people in the head." Because <laughs> you know they can't do headshots no more. Gets him into the ring. They all hit their finishers, and then Braun gets these feet. 
Right on top of Foreskin's chest. One, two, three. Thanks to Heath Slater counting the pinfall. And Braun Strowman is your winner. And Foreskin is no longer the general manager of Raw. Considering Braun couldn't work, that was about as good as you could do with that. Yeah. There were no no tables or ladders, though. So it was only chairs. Chair match. Too stupid. I mean, how do you have a TLC match? <laughs> that could have been a chairs match. Too stupid. What a waste! And the feel-good moment of the year as Natalia avenges her father's death against the woman who killed him. Uh, Ru uh, wait, what? wait, what? Wait, I didn't know that. Well, well, why was why was her dad the center point of this feud to begin with? Uh, you know, Jim the Anvil Neidhart passed away a few months ago, and they had to make. His death, the center point of this entire match between Natalia and Ruby Riot. They even put Jim the Anvil Neidhart on the table again. Liv Morgan took a sick that bump a off the apron. Bump, yeah. <laughs> Sarah Logan went through a table too. And then all that needed to happen was Natalia to put the third member of the Dire Squad through the table. And in the end, she pulls out a table with a picture of Ruby Riot on it and power bomb off the second rope when she reversed the Hurricanrana. Well, it's actually a decent match. I enjoyed it. Good yeah. I didn't hate it. I Natalia did a good job. Good feel good yeah. moment of the year. Good. Even though Ruby Riot sort of should have won if they were trying to build new talent. New sunglasses. Oh, the new sunglasses are back! Natalia's got her daddy's. Everything is right in the world. They've been healed. He dropped them from heaven as he watched his daughter victorious in her matchup tonight. <laughs> I come up with some stupid stuff, don't I? <laughs> How the hell did this happen? <laughs> Drew Sack on fire! Just lost to Finn Ballerina! What? The Ring and Battle Boy just got a victory and whatnot, and I don't even know how it happened. Well, I know what happened. Dolphin Ziegler came down, and he screwed up everything for Drew McIntyre. He distracted him, he hit him with a super kick, there was some chair stuff on the outside. I actually thought that Drew might get counted out. But no, Drew McEntee brought the chair into the ring. A regular battle boy kicked the chair right into him, floated him in the drop zone, hit the poo de gras, and puts him out of the match. One, two, three. Nobody called that. Nobody. Nobody, Nobody in the history of the internet would have picked Balor. Why would Balor win? Exactly. Exactly. What a waste. I think I'm losing the bets now. I'm pretty sure Barbara picked Balor. The wear out. What the hell's happening, man? You could put a wrestling ring right in that room. <gasps> That's the wrestling That's ring the room. That's the wrestling ring room. The roof's too low. Uh, mm, we, 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 Irish whip a guy into the middle and whack his face on the chandelier. Gotta, you you gotta definitely gotta get rid of the chandelier. Raise, raise the roof. roof. Yeah, sure. Is there anything that Rey Mysterio can't do? This dude just beat Randy Orton with some sort of flippy do off a musical chair. <laughs> <laughs> He's bashed his belly in with some type of slide boogie board right outside the ring. <laughs> Dude, the guy's 44 years old. He's four years older. Fourteen years, yeah, than them. <laughs> he's, he's 14 years older than me. I, I, I just, I, I couldn't even do that. This match has been insane. Incredible. Rey Mysterio defeats Randy Orton and gives me another plus one point. I'm, I'm building my way back up here to battle back against Barbara so I don't have to shut down the warehouse. And hey, Barbara, she's hiding down the room. Randy Orton lost. Ha <laughs> ha. But he was oily, and Al's not here, big surprise. He was oily, and you missed it. I wish Al was here. He makes me feel young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did Dolph Ziggler just turn heel again? He just smacked Finn Balor in the face for no freaking reason. He's like, Dolph Ziggler, I'm just going to do what I want. One day I'm heel, one day I'm face. One day I'm heel, one day I'm face. On the big show, baby! Can I cry on the big show? <laughs> yeah, you can't cry like the big show. <laughs> The rowdy levels over 9,000. Ronda Rousey just defeated Nia Bratz in an epic match. That was actually awesome. Good match. I was hype about that. I mean, yeah. Ronda Rousey gave Nia a big second row powerbomb. She had her face stuffed in, yeah, yeah. Stuffed in Nia's pudding. <laughs> she put her down. And then we had Tamina stomping around on the outside. Ronda Rousey. Puts Nia in the arm bar, makes her tap at the end as she kissed her fist and said, hey, Tamina, this one's for you. Now, a couple people just pointed out to me on Twitter that Ronda Rousey's tights, a tribute to Chris Benoit. Oh. He who shall not be named. Are we allowed to talk about him? 
I think I said it. It still came out of my mouth. But yeah, the rabbit Wolverine wore the red with the the, the, the black scratches. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Rhonda? Maybe, Maybe she didn't know. Maybe she didn't know. But either way, uh, Naya had some cleavage hanging out the top, uh, so you can see Naya. Why? And <laughs> Why? I don't know. And uh, like Slug pointed out, at least she didn't have a, a butt window. <laughs> no <laughs> built. Well, maybe we wanted to see a butt window. Someone, somewhere, to bring back one day. I'd be into the or butt not, window. Not Naya. Not Naya. I'd be into the butt Sam window. Trump. Oh my God! That was one of the best WWE Championship matches in the history of our sport. Oh, AJ God. Styles versus Daniel Bryan. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Daniel Bryan wins with a small package. Mister Small Package, a friggin' fruit roll up for crying out loud. People are pissed. What an epic match. I thought that AJ Styles was going to take the win right there. He hit the phenomenal foreskin on the outside. He hit the phenomenal foreskin on the inside. But no, there was no holding Daniel Bryan down, damn it. Should have been the main event. That should have been the main event. Why was that? We still have two matches to go. Oh, the women are going to main event. That's why. Rollins and Ambrose will probably be next. And before that match, we got to see... The man, Becky Lunch, give Nia Bratz the receipt for getting punched in the face. Pow! Becky punched her back. Take that! Should have hit her again. <laughs> Should have hit her ten times. Mm -hmm. Should have broke her face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we just witnessed Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship. And it was 15 minutes of boredom followed by... A good final five minutes. Uh, what? I mean, it was a thrill ride a second with headlocks and, and rest holds. And what the hell were they doing? I mean, the crowd even started chanting, this is boring. When you have to follow AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan, you don't sit there and rest holds too stupid. But all of a sudden, then it got good. Because then Dean Ambrose was like getting his ass kicked. And he's like, wait, 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 Seth. Shield. Shield. And, and, and Rollins is like, should I do it? Do I? Do I join him again? Or do I... No! Starts messing him up, whatever. And you think Rollins is going to win. But then, boom! The dirty deeds out of nowhere. And the one, two, three. And our first title change of the evening. That's it. As we have a new Intercontinental Champion, Dean Ambrose. Yes. That was the first time a match, a title has changed tonight. 12 matches. Is this WrestleMania? Why is there 12 matches? <laughs> The main event of TLC, Asuka versus Becky Lynch versus Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And in the end, Asuka the Grouch is your new SmackDown Women's Champion. Thanks to Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey had to come out here and poke her stupid haircut into this business that didn't even affect her at all. But apparently, she's still mad at Becky and apparently still mad at Charlotte. So when they were both battling on top of the rope, she came in and pushed them both off, allowing Asuka to climb up and get the belt. Earlier in the matchup, we seen motorboat action as Charlotte <laughs> speared Asuka through the barricade and her boobs were in Asuka's face. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also see Becky Lynch do a big butt drop onto Charlotte off the ladder. It wasn't a leg drop. It was an ass drop. Ass drop to the chest. Could have popped the implant. <laughs> Wait, there was Wait, three. Was three. <laughs> what? Three what? Well, you need three to make them that big. <laughs> all in all, an epic pay-per-view. There was a couple down spots, a couple great spots. All in all, I I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. What's your rating? Uh, 7. What's your rating? Seven three quarters. Seven three quarters. More importantly, uh, how did you do on your predictions? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I did not do very good on my predictions, and apparently the warehouse is now in jeopardy. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the show, and let me... I told you, you got a nice big <laughs> empty room right there. What we can do to save Perfect the warehouse. Wrestling ring. What can we do to save the warehouse? The wrestling ring won't fit in there. It's not that big. <laughs> I did, she's just going to make me get rid of it. Backyard. I don't know. Guys, thanks for watching. Please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe for Front more. And if yard. you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah. yeah.